G'day, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. It's the morning of day 39. Um, I spent the rest of the night uh, repairing the horde base. Um, I did a couple of little upgrades as well. And I also uh, started digging out the uh, the terrain in front of the ramp um, in preparation for the, the driveway I'm going to make to link up to the other road down there. Um, I'm going to... Do I have enough building supplies on me? Uh, I've got concrete blocks. I've got titanium steel. Yeah, okay, cool. And there is the morning chime. Okay, so... So I did want to go back over to the horde base. Um, because there is another upgrade I thought of that might be pretty cool. So, um, some of the upgrades I did, um, I actually stole some of Jen's, um, turrets that she had. Uh, I forget where I learnt that. I, I think I was watching someone else. But essentially, if you put down a land claim block... Sorry about the thunder. If you put down a land claim block, um, as close as you can to the trader, like where it will let you, it's generally on the edge of the trader, and then you can actually go up and pick up the turrets. So I stole like six of them off this front face. And I, I put three of them on the roof, uh, and they're, they're all loaded up. Uh, these are MK2 turrets, which is why I stole them, because uh, they're pretty expensive to make. Um, I did some more upgrades. Um, so... Actually, in here, it's not really upgraded. It's mainly the roof. Uh, let's get the lights on. Yeah, so we've got titanium roof above us now. Which will be uh, a lot safer. But the other upgrade I wanted to do is, um, is to rectify the fact that I can't repair the front face of this. Uh, we've, we've got a plate here, so I can repair this plate, but I can't repair the block in front of it. What I was thinking is if we could place some blocks up here and then place like sheets on top of the electric fence, we might be able to jump up on top there, glitch through, and then we could see the front face. So let's just test to see if that works. Um... We'll try it with a plate first. I don't think there's going to be enough room. But we will try a plate. Plate does work. Um, do we get electrocuted though? We do not. That is a good upgrade, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Yes. I oh, will definitely be able to repair all that. So, yeah, that, that should be really good. We should be able to repair all that as well. Like, this is a massive upgrade. I mean, it's it's cheesy as fuck, but the game lets me do it. And I think the game is difficult enough that uh, I am justifying it. Yeah, awesome. Alright, I am really happy with that. Uh, I'm pretty confident in this base now. So confident that uh, for the next horde, I'm going to increase the difficulty to the, the next level. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's survivalist. Uh, the only thing I am worried about is the uh, succubus. Uh, uh, not because... Not because I'm worried that uh, she's going to, like, break in. But I'm just... Oh, shit. I, I'm worried that uh, we're not going to be able to kill her. 
Because the only ranged weapon I have to stop the regeneration is the shotgun. And, uh, and don't get me wrong, the, the shotgun is awesome. I've seen people use that thing very effectively. However, I am not very efficient at using it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It, see, it only gives us 10 seconds of, um... It only gives us 10 seconds to, um... To kill it, basically. It stops the regeneration for 10 seconds. After that, yeah, so I need to I need to remember shoot her once with the shotgun and then switch over to another weapon immediately and just unload on her. Okay, so I would like to do some more work on the base today. I know we've got the Eve quest to do. Um but I'm going to keep working on the base until the next horde. After the next horde, we will do the Eve uh, quest chain and and try and make a uh, a, a break for the uh, the laser workbench. But for right now, I, I would love to have a, a functional base. So with that said, let's get started. So I'm going to do this in wood to start off with. Um, because I want to try out a few shapes. Also, how... Is this right on the edge of the pillar? It is, okay, yeah. So I can put as much weight on this as I want. So that would be the, uh, the wall. Uh, it's not really enough room to make it loop around unless we narrow this down. No, not there. It'll be here. Yeah, there's not really enough room to do that. The staircase needs to be at least too wide. I, I can't stand single single block staircase. Like it's just too too tight, in my opinion. I need something a bit bit looser. So it'll be something like that, and then we do something like that, so we get this little 2x2 two two platform. Uh, this, this could work. Uh, that's probably getting... It's probably getting pretty close to its structural limit. Let's get some bracing up on the sides here. Uh, I don't think I like that now. I was going to make like sort of an archway there. But I think if we're going to do these stairs here, I think it might be cool to have this as a giant void just so we can see down there. It, it, it'd make the base feel a lot, a lot bigger, especially when we're standing down there. You should be able to look up and the ceiling would be like way up here. So that means um, we'd be branching off to the sides and utilizing the space on the sides for the rec room uh, and the bedroom. Oh uh, yeah, so my uh, my creative build hasn't gone this far. I got to the point of where I planned out that second level there. And then I thought, yeah, that's good enough. I'll, uh, I'll just wing it from there. So that's what we're doing. In fact, a lot of my like designs that I'm really proud of have come from just winging it so there is that all right so we probably have uh, a window there as well um, in fact we could simulate that um, we could even do windows here as well so it's not so cluttered this would most likely be a slope Um, 
maybe a, a fireplace here. I don't know. Although you couldn't root technically have a, a chimney. <laughs> so we go up. Massive void. Um, we could even have this as a void as well. So you can see down the staircase into the garage. Possibly. This would probably continue on. This wall. Yeah, I think, I think we could, we could do that. The, the other option we have is instead of going with something elaborate like this double staircase, we, we could just do the same thing I did here, where we just have one staircase. It's just functional. So we could do just this side. But see, I, I don't know what we would use this other bit of space for. I guess we could have the writing desk and the uh, tailoring station that way it's on the same level as as this it's not a bad idea uh yeah i'm i'm not going to be happy unless i i try that at least so let me let me try that design out see how it goes uh yeah that's that's pretty good we get um even more visibility to the outside world and we've got all this space here. Plenty of room to make a, a little, like, writing room. Put some, like, bookshelves and stuff in there. And maybe a seat. Might be nice to have uh, a pillar go all the way up in the middle here. Just for show. Just so there's not like an empty block there. Uh, and then technically we don't need any of this. This could be all open as well. Man, that would open it up so much. Uh, we do do kind of need that one. Actually, we do not. Because we could just do one of these. Wow. Yeah, I like that. Have railings up on the side here. Yep. Alright, this is it. Switch over to concrete. Alright, there we go. Now it's just all blocked in at the moment. We'll uh, we'll shape it all later. Like we might even like pull out these blocks and put some uh, sixty wedges in or something, because it'll it'll look nicer if they slope inwards or or you know maybe on the outside we can make the outside look pretty. Whatever. For now, I just want to get the basic shape down and uh, yeah and, and get a roof on this place. We should probably work out. Um, Actually, we should probably bring up all the walls. Hmm, as well as that, it would be nice to have doors leading outside. For example, we're going to be building a farm off this side. So we should probably work out where we're going to put the door for that. Are we going to put it right in the middle? That's the middle there. Which is in line with ammo and meals. This is actually the middle, right here. Ah, oh, that's right, I added another block here. Um, because the chemistry station is only three. So, to make this even... 
I'm going to add another block there and we are going to make this a door. Uh, okay, so are we going to put the roof here or the next one up? If we do the next one up, it'll give us a little bit more space for some greebling. Yeah, shit. Okay, let's get down and get some more. Oh, they're up here now. Um, construction. Ooh. Uh, I don't think I'm making any more either. Although I think we've got enough concrete. Uh, we do have 8,000 there. And on top of that, let's make sure we're keeping up with concrete production. Shit, I still haven't got any more stone. And we need sand. Alright, so... I'm going to make 10,000 sand. And then as much concrete as I can. I can't remember if I left a piece of sand in there. I did not. Alright, cool. So, I, yeah. I, I desperately need stone. I'm gonna have to do that tonight. Um, anyway, let's get back to it. Let's get the roof going. Um, okay. I would like to lower the archway. So, yeah, so it, it lifts up separation there and um, and the roof for this place obviously this is a void so it's actually going to be the like double height it's going to look awesome all right let's get that in for the doorway okay so that's going to lead out to the farm and I think I'm going to make the farm this high so we'll have a pathway that goes out to a platform where the farm is and that way, it's right near the kitchen, like, you know, everywhere, like, seeds are right here. All our crops and everything drop off in there. It's going to be great. And there will be a, um, a, like, a walkable balcony that runs around the outside of the base as well. With the exception of the, uh, the drawbridge, because it's going to be in the way. Although, we could make some stairs that go up over the top of it and then drop back down that might actually look pretty cool too all right so let's get the roof on um this level and then we can start working on the the second floor i guess damn it i can't put a block there see what i mean about the drawbridge so i need to open the drawbridge um all right let's let's do that real quick I think um, I've still got the wiring tool on me. Yeah. So we're just going to bypass it. So this is currently going straight into that switch. Yeah, we're just going to bypass it. And go... Ah, shit. That's going to screw up the, the wiring a little bit. But that'll let us place the block anyway. Okay, I do need to fix the drawbridge now. So we go from there into there. Nice. From there into here. Uh, sounds like it's seven o'clock. Once again, we've spent the entire day building. This is good though. I feel like I'm actually making progress now. Whereas before I was like, just, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. So I wasn't getting much done. But now I feel like we're actually getting somewhere. The base is starting to come together. Um, I will admit it is pretty rough at the moment. Like the outside of our structure is just sheer flat walls, which looks hideous. 
I'll show you at the at the end here what it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's pretty terrible. But that will change. Like once I start putting some decorative like pillars and stuff, and we do the balcony around, it'll start to come together. All right. So there's our there's our void. Um, so we've got this is the entrance. There's gonna be a railing along there. So we could have maybe this is one giant room here, but we would need a hallway. We need like two two blocks here for a hallway. Which means there's going to be a wall here. And we only have three blocks and then another wall. It's a very narrow room. I'm not sure if I like that. Um, we could utilize that space over there. And what we could do is just have a bridge that goes across the void. Which might look pretty cool. So then we could have like one room here. That's still a nat narrow room. We would need the bridge like up up the front here. I don't like that though. <laughs> I wanted to leave this open. I, I thought that looked cool. Okay, yeah, that that seems like a lot better strategy. Okay, so we do miss out on a little bit, like the bridge does obscure a little bit, but we've got all this space here. And now that the bridge is up the front, we can now take up the entire width with that room. So yeah, we've got heaps of space. We can even like leave this end piece as like a balcony that walks outside. Um, so the, the room would like end like here because we don't need a great deal of space. It's mainly just for show. Um, okay, so there'd be railing here. Oh, it could also be open as well. So we could just have a railing along the edge here. It wouldn't be an actual room. Like you just walk up and there's just like this rec room here. Pool table, a bar. Uh, and then when we go over this side, this would be enclosed. Um, and we'll have the bedroom in here. Something like that. That looks pretty good. Uh, this would all be blocked off. There'd be a wall here. Um, actually, yeah, that would be a wall as well. That's railings, railings. Uh, this is all going to be a wall. Probably, probably windows here somewhere. Oh, we were going to... We we're going to cut the, the end of the room off and have a, a balcony out here. Um, so I'm completely out of fucking concrete blocks now. Uh, not good. We do have some there. 300. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go through this thousand. Especially because I keep... Uh, changing my mind. Yeah, so that's going to be a wall. This is going to be open. Yeah, I like this. So we probably want to go up. Um, we want four high, I think. So fifth block. That's where the roof goes, right? That looks pretty good. And I think for this central bit, we'll go up like one block. We'll go up a little bit higher just for this central path. Yeah, I think that would look pretty cool. Okay, well, 
Um, I need to end the episode here because I need to go get some stone, like, yeah, really desperately. So that is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Catch you tomorrow.